those of you who are into urban exploration might find this kind of interesting. It's not urban by any means. I've actually seen it before, but never stopped and checked it out. It's right by the road, but you can't really, it's difficult to see from the road, especially if you're in a four-wheel vehicle, which I'm not. I'm on my little bike today. So I was able to just ride it up next to the house. Cedar tree, but uh, there it is. It's an old house. And, uh, I've checked out quite a few old houses like this. And, uh, I'm going to follow the credo, of course. Of take nothing but pictures and leave nothing but. Here is a skull. Not sure what it is. I don't see any bicuspids. But it could have lost those. But those molars look like uh, they look like grass chewing molars. So I don't know, but the general shape of the skull doesn't look like a calf or anything. It's more like a dog. There's a rib, some neck bones. very carefully to uh, make sure I don't see any hunter orange and uh, of course the fact that I'm talking is beneficial because if there's anybody hunting right here maybe they'll be able to hear me but, uh, it's in the middle of the day so Probably not anybody hunting here right now, anyway. Now, here are some prints. Hoof prints or something. You gotta be careful around these places because of uh, wells and cisterns, which might be partially covered. And uh, we don't want to break through into anything. How about these shoes? There's more shoes. Light fixture. It's fairly warm today. It's about high fifties. So I wouldn't want to be here if it were much warmer because this would be a great place to get bitten by a rattlesnake. This now, you see that hole in the wall and these rocks, see that there was a fireplace here, see, there's concrete, yeah there was a fireplace and this was the chimney chimney at some point fell. What is this thing? Let's see. Do something with my glasses here. So I've got both hands free. Hmm. Oh, it was a uh, 
Dixie cup dispenser. Looks like. There's an old couch and chair in there. That was the living room. It was electrified at some point. Had telephone. Let's see, there's the uh, breaker box. And I don't know how well you can see it, but it is indeed breakers. I can see inside it. I mean, not breakers. Oh, fuses. It's glass fuses. Not breakers. I'm not surprised. Here's some cups. Just junk, you know. Hmm. Tell you what. I think I'm going to venture inside just a little ways. Instead of walking around the outside. If the floor doesn't feel too bad. Yeah, it's okay. There's a spark plug. There's a bed up there. kitchen sink. How about that light fixture? Okay. Two beds in here. What is that? Wow. What's this stuff? Oh, it's nails. Gotta be careful with that. Siding nails. Don't want one of those in a foot. Here is a uh, Time magazine. Let's see. May 27, 1966. Time makes. Wow. Let's see. So here's the cover of it. A Monarchy Fights for Freedom. Oh, great. The King and Queen of Thailand, 1966, volume 87, number 21. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can see the table of contents. Sixty-six Sinclair commercial showing a looks like a Dodge Barracuda, Plymouth Barracuda. I mean, Dodge Coronet commercial. Okay, 
that's enough with that magazine. Here's a Reader's Digest, October 1965. Some kind of nest. There actually are three beds in here. There's a quilt. Interesting. Alabama Report, Alabama Cattlemen's Association, Christmas, 1965. So, yeah. Here we are in a house that was apparently lived, last lived in, in 1966, probably. Now this is kind of surprising. Oh, no, I thought it was a car battery, but it's not. Nope. It's an RCA Victor radio. Tube top, of course. Let's see those. Well, I can hear tubes in it. Well, anyway. I am interested in old radios. time to retreat back out of here since we've seen all four rooms. I don't see a bathroom. I guess there's a busted toilet. Maybe this was the bathroom. I'm surprised because that's an awfully large bathroom for such a small house. But yeah, it's got two entranceways. I don't know though. Looks like there was no other way into the kitchen. So maybe this was a combination bathroom and laundry room or something. I don't know. Doesn't look like there was a wall there. But uh, I don't see any place else where there could have been a bathroom. interesting. Well, I do have one of those things in my feet, in my shoe. I thought I was feeling one. Tickling my foot just a little bit. And I looked and sure enough, there one is. Alright, a car just went by, so I probably need to head on out before somebody shows up to check me out. They probably didn't see my bike or anything, but uh, best to be on the safe side. I'm not hurting anything here, but whoever the property belongs to doesn't know that. So, you know, bottom line is the way trespass law works is it's not criminal trespass unless you're asked to leave and refuse to do so. I don't want to encroach on, you know, people, people's privacy or anything, but there are no people here that I can see. And like I said, there's, a, there's nothing going on here. Nobody's doing anything. I'm not getting in the way of anything or whatever. There's a little game trail along the, across the front of the house, but there's a little porch.
okay. We'll stop it here and get out of here. Just thought I would uh, share this with you guys because I like exploring old structures and homes and whatnot, buildings, and uh, that are abandoned, you know. And I'm sure some of you guys do too. So I just thought I would uh, stop on a whim and check this out. So there it is. Let me know how you like it. I might try to uh, find some more stuff like this to make videos of.